Welcome back, friends, to the next episode in the Hobby Barn F14 Skymaster EDF conversion. I believe this is build five. Uh, in our last video, uh, which I also uploaded, uh, I was still in the painting process. That is now complete. Uh, as you can see, everything is finished, um, all but the weathering. And I still have to do a little bit of touch up on the leading edges of the wings, but that's minor detailing. Uh, the final weathering on this plane I will do once it's all finished and finalized and put together. Uh, since then, uh, I have CG'd the plane. Uh, so I have had it temporarily reassembled. I've had the batteries in it. I've had all the pieces of equipment laid out uh, where I roughly thought they were going to go. Uh, a few changes were made. Uh, I've also run the airlines from the back to the front and tested the landing gear. Um, there are five separate lines that have to run off these landing gear. They're tricky. Uh, it took a little time to figure out how to get them to fold and not... Um, crimp when they uh, are retracting. Uh, also, the ESCs have now been mounted much more forward, uh, and they are now securely locked down. They have new ply underneath them, and also uh, the heavy-duty 10-pound Velcro, which I'm very fond of. Uh, I'm going to have to put a couple of extensions, which may not seem like much, because moving forward, they're long enough. But moving backward... Uh, from the battery packs, obviously there's not enough room from where those battery leads will f will uh, file in here to get your hand underneath to plug it in. So I'm going to have to create some extensions from the batteries back into this area to plug in. Uh, that'll be one of the last things that gets completed. So the battery tray section and the mounting system, since everything has to be put in with one hand... And through the cockpit of this aircraft, and you're talking about batteries that are <laughs> the size of my hand. I mean, essentially, we're talking about bricks. I mean, they're graphene Dynagy 9000s. This is, these are 14S together, so 7S packs. Uh, I had previously, I believe, shown that I had put... Um, heavy trays in. These are aircraft grade ply trays. They are mounted to the fuselage and screwed down and uh, hardened with epoxy. I have created a rail system that essentially also has been screwed down and hardened with epoxy and CA. And the tray system, the simple tray, aircraft grade ply once again, Velcro, your batteries, get put onto the tray and stuck down, and then you use your battery strap to lock them together. And then that tray simply goes into the fuselage. And yes, this works. I've tried it over and over again. It sits down under the ledge and then slides in. And then it locks. And that's it. And once it's in there, of course, I have a piece of foam that puts in over top and tees between the battery sections and holds them down. Uh, this system, as simple as it may seem, is incredibly effective. I have done everything you can think of to get those batteries to come out, come off, move. They won't. And I can get them in and out of the plane with one hand, which was ultimately the, the biggest trick to this because there's no room in there. This entire section is only about 10 inches from this back former to where the fuselage meets. And unfortunately, this is where this stuff has to go. Um, so it took a little bit of doing to figure it out. Uh, ultimately, the reason behind this, and I'll apologize in advance for the mess uh, inside, but your air tanks have to go here. Uh, you're set up for... The uh, receiver goes here, air tanks, then the uh, uh, pressure gauges and fill gauges are going to have to go over here. And then the plate that goes over top of this that has your gear controller and your air controllers, etc. for your brakes sits on that plate right here. Um, anyway... Then your receiver batteries, which originally I had put up here and over here, 
in order to CG, the aircraft had to be put all the way up into the nose, which just simply you know, unscrews and pops off. And uh, I'll have to run a couple of extensions. But that's where we're at for right now. Uh, I'm not going to run this video uh, extensively long. As you can see, all of our wiring is ready. It's mounted. I have parts over top of it. This will lay in the section where the air tanks are in the rear section of the fuse right here. So they'll all be in here and then secured down. And then as you can see, when the batteries go in, they have to go in through there into that center section of the fuse. So from an engineering standpoint, it took a little bit of time. But we're ready, folks. Uh, hopefully the next video will be a completion video uh, with final tests and a ground test. Uh, and the goal is by the 1st of April to have her ready to fly and, and get our location identified for our, our uh, maiden. So wish me luck. Please like and subscribe, and I'll look forward to the comments. Take care. Dave with Hobby Barn signing out.